Remember on Saturday when I said I wouldn't be shocked if we got a result at Leicester? Aged well, didn't it? Well, gave a good account of ourselves, I think. Um, the performance was definitely better than Saturday. I mean, I still didn't think we were that bad on Saturday, personally, but um, we were definitely better tonight. We definitely... You know, the thing is, right, I accept Leicester had the better chances across the whole game. I mean, they had... I mean, Pat O saved, us, saved shots onto the post twice. I hear Nacho had a chance that he should have buried, really, for his standards. Um, but at the same time, I think we had enough opportunities ourselves to warrant a point. Um, if I'm all right, but once again, people know what I'm going to go on about. The goal itself was a, was an absolutely shocking goal to concede, from my, in my opinion. It was sim It was basically the Ballard goal at Sheffield Wednesday to an extent, but in reverse, where Justin, I think he might have been marked by 9 And personally, I get sick of the Luke 9s not a centre-back thing, but, you know, because in general, I think he has actually done all right in that position, but I suppose you could say he's at fault for the goal tonight, uh, where Justin basically loses his man, runs into free space in the six-yard box, and then heads the ball into the net. Um... So, yeah, it was just incredibly frustrating. Like I keep saying, we need to start keeping clean sheets. We can't keep giving teams something to hang on to. We've done it in the last couple of games. Um, me, personally, I thought if we got anything tonight, it was a bonus. And I know some people will think that is a defeatist attitude, but I completely disagree. I think for a game like this, when you consider how comfortable Leicester are at the top of the league, just look at their squad, man. It should be Premier League level, really, let's be honest. So... I actually thought we gave a good account of ourselves. Yes, Leicester had chances, but considering the quality they've got, they're always going to, they're not going to not have chances, are they? Let's get it straight. And Sunderland, for me, did more than enough to get something out of the game. But again, I suppose you could argue we just let down in the final third. Um, and this is something, and I'm not saying Tony Mowbray out by a long shot. I don't think that should be a conversation personally. But one thing I will admit from Mowbray's perspective that I do think he doesn't particularly help himself with is the fact that Last season, and for good reason, he, come, he, he pointed out regularly about the fact that he didn't have that many strikers to choose from. Well, well, barely any, to be honest. But he does that, but then barely plays any ones that we've had. Now, I've seen people starting to write off Burst already, and I'm just ready to give up on that. Because, again, like I keep on saying, I think I keep on having to repeat this. You can say Ahmad had the quality, but the point is, last season, Ahmad didn't have many great performances before the World Cup break. What happened to giving players time instead of writing them off straight away? Personally, I don't agree with that. It's entirely your opinion, that's fine, but I, it just frustrates me massively when people decide to make instantaneous judgments on players. I want to give them a good run, and by the run, I mean at least a dozen or so games, and I mean like starting games, like a proper go in the team. I think Mowbray's substitutions tonight were a little bit questionable. I think bringing Pritchard on, I wanted, but I wanted that when we had a striker on the pitch. Now, saying that as well, I think Russian, I'd love to know what he's doing to not start games, um, but there you go. I mean... We definitely had enough chances for me to get something out of it. The last two games, to be honest. But again, we've lost both of them. The, the stat says we've lost both of them. But I still believe we lost both of them because we conceded very poor goals. Stoke's second was an awful goal to give away. And the goal tonight was an awful one. And we need to start defending set pieces a lot better. We've got more height in the team. So that's really not an excuse to be conceding the goals that we are. But again, we gave it a good account of ourselves at the league leaders. Um, it just means attention then turns to Norwich now on Saturday where... I think that's a game we could really do with winning now, to be honest, since we've lost the last three. Now, I'm trying hard not to mention the official because I actually thought the official was Keith Stroud. Of course, it's Keith Stroud. He was poor for both teams. We should have had a penalty in the first at the end of the first half. But saying that, there was an argument that Leicester should have had one in the second. So, you know, so again, I'm acknowledging it for both teams, not just us. So, you know, it's... What can I say about it? I mean, I don't really want to talk about referees because I'm getting sick of it, but you can't not mention them when they're this poor. Um, but there you go. Um, fair play to Leicester. They showed their quality when it mattered. Um, and obviously they'll win the league at a canter, won't they? So at least one good thing, if we don't go up, we're not in the league, same league as them next year. But there you go. Um, we need to start finishing our chances off when we get them. And again, I keep saying goal scoring's not the problem. We're the fourth, we, well, we, before kickoff, we were the fourth highest goal scorers in the division. And even if you take Clark's goals away, you still average around a goal a game pretty much. The problem is we've let in too many goals for me. We've conceded seven in the last three and we've got to be keeping clean sheets again. We've got to be getting better standards. And people have got to start expecting better standards at the back, in my opinion, not just blame everything on the forwards. But there you go. That's me. What did you guys think? I thought we deserved a point, but I accept Leicester had the better chances. So Leicester fans might argue they just deserve to win. I wouldn't disagree with that totally, I suppose. 
Guess we've got to move on to Norwich. See what happens. I mean, Norwich's confidence apparently is rock bottom, so typically they'll probably get a result against us now. But there you go. Um, as you guys know, trying to get a 5K subs and half the people who watch according to the analytics aren't subscribed. So if you think I've earned a subscription from you and you're watching the video, not a regular subscriber, then hit the subscribe button. It would mean a lot. And see you on Saturday. Fingers crossed we actually get some luck for once. And hopefully we get back to, back to winning ways on Saturday against Norwich. Take care, you lovely lot. See you later.